Hi guys, this is a quick video on how to maximize your classroom iPads for use with Bitsboard Pro. Now when you're setting up Bitsboard Pro, uh, create a user profile for each iPad in your classroom. I'm going to show you how to do that. When you first uh, open up Bitsboard Pro, you're going to see something that looks a little bit like this screen here. Okay, but what you want to do is click on the left hand corner on the icon. It's usually going to be, you're going to be set up as a guest, as the default user in Bitsboard. We want to change that. Okay, what we want to do is add uh, a user to your Bitsboard Pro on your iPad. So you're going to hit this plus sign. Okay, and what you are going to do is add a new user. Now, what I suggest is that um, you name your iPads systematically. So if you have eight iPads, you want um, each iPad to have a number from one to eight. Um, but you might want to make it a little more specific. So what you might want to do, for instance, is you know, make it for grade one, put the initial your initials for your class and then maybe put the number okay then you hit add user for the next iPad that you set up you might go ahead and call it G1AF2 the next one G1AF3 and so on So just hit add user okay and what you should see is that in the left hand corner you are now set up um, under that username. Okay, what we want to do now is um, join what is called a class. Okay, uh, in grade one, I'm using my iPad to make uh, different classes for grade one. Here's how you find those classes and join them. You're going to hit catalog, and then the best way to find anything that I've created is to just go ahead, use the search bar, and search for my name. Okay, and there I pop up. Um, you just click on my icon. And then down below where it says classes, you can see a variety of classes that I've created. One class that would be great to join right now is the ISPP Grade 1 Magic Words. I currently have a board in there that is gold words, but as the weeks go on, I will probably add red words and green words and the other magic word groups. So you're going to find ISPP Grade 1 Magic Words under my classes and hit join. And if you've done that, you should get a message that looks like this. And what's happened now is that the user profile you just connected has joined my class. You can check on this by hitting the home icon, which is the little house in the left hand corner on the top. And there you see under classes, ISPP grade one magic words. You can go ahead and click on that. And in this class, you're going to see all the boards that I create and put in that class as I do it. So right now there is only um, a test board called City Sounds, another board that is ISPP Gold Words, but um, you know in the next couple weeks, like I said, I will add more boards so there may be ISPP Gold Words, ISPP Red Words, ISPP Green Words. Your iPad will then update with the new boards that I put into your class. Um, so it's very handy. You don't need to keep um, finding boards and downloading them. Um, as your, your iPad is connected to this class, you've joined this class, uh, it will automatically update with any new information I put in that class. Um, and just to check to make sure everything's okay, you can touch the class ISPP Gold Words, and it should look something like this. Okay, so this has um, shown you how to customize your class iPads to uh, join Bitsboard classes that currently I'm creating 
um, and that will be useful um, in the learning of all of your students.